start to feel a little more normal as the night went on? Yeah, I mean, it was it was pretty tough going into that game. Obviously, there's a lot of talk about um, Demar and his situation. Just everyone, you know, curious how he's doing, and, um, and I think it, it hits home not only because it's a sporting community, but because it's you know Buffalo. And um, yeah, I think um, going into that game, it was uh, it was you know, I mean, your your head's a little bit in uh, a different space. Um, but I think we owed it to uh, to the city of Buffalo and uh, to Demar, you know, to try to give some life and um, you know get some some positive energy going for the city. What were the emotions like in the room afterward? It was awesome. Um, that was a it was a really good feeling um, after the game. I think everyone collectively knew that um, that game meant a lot, and um, I think you know that's. It's a rewarding feeling uh, going into the locker room. And I think when you have a game like that, um, that means so much to to the team because we know it means so much to to people outside, um, you know, uh, the city of Buffalo and um, Demar and his family and all of his friends and family. So um, that was an important one, and um, I'm glad we could get the win. What did you learn about you know, your thirtieth goal? Uh, you know, the threes every three minutes in. Just what, what what did you think when you learned? About yeah, I found that out right after the game, and um, I'm a b big believer in in God, and I, I think that's a sign. I don't know if you can uh, make up something quite like that. So um, I think you know, prayer is a powerful thing, and that's really all you can do in this situation. That's what we're going to continue to do, and um, you know, obviously, I, I think we, we see he's making some good strides right now. So just continue to pray and um, hope for the best. Cage from a hockey standpoint, if I could. Uh... Remember last year, you telling us that when you scored your 30th goal, Don congratulated you and said, "There's more here." And here you are. You've scored your 30th goal. We're not even halfway through this season. I mean, is, I know you have some great confidence in yourself, but does that even surprise you that you can get up to 30 and you're not even up to game 41 yet? Yeah, I think um, I've said it in the past. I think. You try to set goals um, for yourself in, in small increments, and I think when you reach it, you know the bar. You you keep raising as you get closer to it. So for me, it's um, something where your goal is continually changing for you. So um, you know my my goal is to get close to that um, that number I hit last year and try to surpass it. And uh, obviously we're already there, so that bar continues to climb. And just try to keep outdoing your your expectations. So um, I think you, when you you just set small goals. Um, I think then results end up being, um, you know, pretty good. So just try to do small, small bites at a time. You scored a one timer from essentially what's Ovi's office. Did you? Do you think you fired him up a little? I don't know. I, I hope I didn't fire him up. We want to keep that guy quiet when we play against him. So um, no, obviously he's a he's a great goal scorer and. Um, yeah, I think we saw it against against them. You know, he scores scores a couple on us, and um, you know, he's a dangerous player. So we we don't want to wake him up. You've scored obviously a lot of goals in the last year. How much are you going to remember that overtime goal for yeah, a long time? That one will be a special one for sure. Yeah, that's a that's a cool game. Um, like I said, for for it to end the way that it did, um, you know, means so much, and for me to have a, a big part in that, um, that really feels special for me. Did you guys have real feelings about this community and you want to be this community to be proud of this team and you understand your responsibilities, but whether it was the blizzard providing an escape for people after what happened there or this where fans are are upset and providing escape there, is that a heavy responsibility? Um, I mean, I don't really know if it's, you know, it doesn't feel like a responsibility. I think the reason that it may appear that way is just because of the character we have in this room. I think we have a lot of guys that truly do love the city of Buffalo and um, you know want to see it flourish and, and do well. And I think for us, from from our standpoint, all we can do is continue to work hard and, and try to you know turn this team around and try to win some games, get into playoffs, and um, you know bring some life to the city. And um, whatever we can do away from the rink to help the community when it's hurting, um, we're going to do so. Um, you know, this this is home um, for me and uh, for obviously everyone in this room. So um, you want to take care of your home and the people around it. So. Thank you.